is so much easier with the garage door opener. Oh man, the spring broke. So if you guys can tell, the spring no longer has a hook on the end. It snapped off. Making it super difficult to open the garage door now, but a little muscle. We're good, fresh haircut. Let's go make a vlog, boys. So excited. Everything's tight now. Usually I park on that side of the garage. My cool brick wall where I plan on finishing that with more brick, making more videos. Oh, it's so close. Stay. Tight squeeze, but we got it. Boom, upside down. Favorite part about owning a Mustang? Right here. Switch sides of the garage since that door broke and I don't drive this car every day. I uh, switch sides so my wife could have the working side. So she could just push the button and she wouldn't have to move it up and down or I wouldn't have to come out and do it for her. Cause you know, good husband, nice guy, Sean. But uh, I haven't quite figured out how to back out of her side of the garage yet, which is uh, causing me to scrape a little. So I'm trying to figure that out. She is way louder now. So I forgot, I never told you guys, like I never did like an exhaust review or what have you, um, ever since we went to the track, which I'll put a link to that video here where I ran my new personal best of a 12.5. Pretty stoked about it. I'm on street tires and I don't, only suspension I have are coilovers, so I haven't done like lower control arms or any of that stuff. Um, but I'm not noticing a ton of wheel hop. Mainly it's me needing to learn how to get off the line and. Maybe a little bit of a driver mod, but other than that, we did really good. I was I was happy. The off-road X-Pipe that I have from Late Model Restoration, it's the SVE off-road X-Pipe. Wow. I was nervous about getting an X-Pipe. 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 Just because of the rasp. Like, you hear it online. X-Pipe will give you rasp. H-Pipe will be at a little bit lower tone. And I always wanted an H-Pipe. Couldn't find one. I mean, I found them but they were just a little pricey. I like the affordability of the X-Pipe um, from Late Model, and I love the sound. I don't know why I waited so long. Dude, it was like a year before I like bought any other modifications for my car, like in between things, and this thing is awesome. I do have a, uh, a Bama tune on the car. It's the 93 race tune. Um, no problems with it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's aggressive. I feel like there's more low end torque and I don't know if that's counterintuitive to putting the X-Pipe on or not, but it's there. Like I can definitely tell that down low it wants to go and I love it. It's The sound is amazing. It is loud. So for a daily vehicle, you gotta be brave. Um, there is a little bit of drone at the higher RPMs, but mind you, this is paired with my Roush Axlebacks, which if you don't know it, Roush Axlebacks, those things are are just that's the perfect setup on factory mid pipe just throw on some roush axlebacks and you got a great sounding mustang the exhaust is awesome so but with that paired up off-road aches off-road x pipe it's just crazy crazy loud but i love it i mean when you start it you heard it when i started it cold start it just the rpms are ramped up and that thing is just purring i love it it's great it's great it's so good so good it's been a while since I've done one of these driving around in the car vlogs and just talking to you guys and catching up. So let's jump into it. Some really good news. I, Sean, finally got promoted. So excited, so thankful. It's such a blessing. Uh, my wife and I, we 
prayed about it. We've been going to Bible study with my family, and like that's been really good for us. And going to church every Sunday has been awesome. And this has been something that I, you guys know, I think I posted a video about it called um, "You Don't Always Win, You Can't Win Them All" or something like that. And this has just been a really good experience that going through the process of interviewing, being told no a couple of times, like, that sucks. Like, let's get it, I mean, nobody wants to be told no, you don't get the job. Like, that's never happened to me until I worked here. But I just think it was, I think everything worked out the way it's supposed to. I think the timing of everything worked out, the position that I ended up getting worked out. Um, so it's just been really good. Unfortunately though, the van's going away. So no more, no more crazy monster van. Um, I plan to drive this car. I may have to do something with the suspension. I'm not quite sure yet. I, ah, it's so tough because I put work into this car and I love this car. But the good thing is, is I've worked here for three years now and I've been able to drive the van and save miles on this. So this still has pretty low miles for the year. It's a 2013 and I think I have 24 and a half thousand miles. So not too bad. But how cool is it? I'm gonna get paid to drive my car around for work um, and go hang out and have meetings and that kind of stuff. So pretty excited about it. Uh, thanks you guys for all your support. I know you saw some kind of like hidden tweets. Um, you didn't really know what the meaning was behind them. Like some really good things are happening, this and that. And that was one of them. Like getting a new position and getting promoted was awesome. I, I love working for this company. They've treated me extremely well. They treated my family well. So. No complaints there. Finally got a promotion and super stoked about it. So anyways, a lot of good stuff happening. And not only just in my life, but with like our family in general, like my dad's got some really exciting things going on. Uh, he's building some houses right now, which we're pulling up to. I'm excited to show you guys. Just as a quick look, this is the first house my dad built. And he's got two more going on. I don't know if you can see them, but this one's a one story. And then the one next to it is a two story. So really, really cool stuff happening, exciting things. The house is beautiful. Somebody lives in there, so I don't want to video it for too long. And then he's got some other stuff going on on the other side of town. But, oh, listen. Ah, you can see those tips are getting filthy real fast. It's that catless life, you know? No cats. Those houses are sweet though, I really like them. I want to go in some, but there's a truck parked out there and I think it's the inspection guy, so. Don't even want to walk around while he's doing his thing and then disturb him just for the sake of making a video. But lots of good stuff going on, guys. Um, the baby's growing up. She's nine months old now, which is nuts. I was thinking about the other day, if you put in the pregnancy time, the nine months for that, she's been in our life for like a year and a half, which blows my mind. Just blows my mind that I've worked for the company for three years and half of that I've had like a child or she's been around for that long, which is nuts to me just because it doesn't seem like a year and a half ago we got pregnant, but it has and <laughs> oh man, it's just been crazy. She is crawling around, she's standing up, like pulling herself up, not just like standing up, but she'll grab a hold of something and stand up. Uh, she's waving, which is so cute because she gives this little like wave like that and it's adorable and then she says dada all the time everything is dada you point at something it's dada and then lately it's just been mama when she's been upset or hungry or sad but now she's starting to turn that around and just say mama to everything so courtney's super excited i'm super excited um ugh, it's just stuff is going well there i mean there are things like obviously everybody has ups and downs in life and I, I think you have seasons in life where things go like this, but you know, we're, we're going up and I want to keep going up and be happy and be excited. And that's like part of my motivation to get out and make videos for you guys. I was making a video a week and then I kind of slowed down. Oh, I got to fix this. Hold on. But back to what I was saying, you know, everyone has ups and downs. Um, some say life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes it's kind of like you're in between two mountain peaks and you gotta walk down one in order to get back up the other. And sometimes it seems that you're never gonna make it to the top. And maybe, I don't know that you will because you always wanna strive for more. You want more, more, more. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think it's good to be greedy, but I think it's good to want to better yourself, better your life, better your situation. Um, 
all of those things. So if you're going through something, man, keep pushing because you come out the other side and you come out stronger and tougher and better than ever. And I can, first-hand experience, I can tell you that. And then also the channel is growing and it's it blows my mind. I won't post a video for two weeks and I'll gain 20 subs or 30 subs, which is nuts. And hi to everybody new. My name's Sean, Mustang09. Welcome to the champ. I see you guys. People are coming and it's really exciting. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which uh, is big for me. I think now would be a really good time to throw the GoPro out back and then get like some exhaust. Well, I don't know how the GoPro is going to sound. We're going to try the GoPro out back. Um, let me set you guys up. Let me get you off this mount. Perfect. I didn't bring a tripod. It's a little bit humid. We've had a bunch of rain. But I'll bring you closer. Now I'm just going to give it a couple of revs. Check out the sound. So the first one was to like 2K and the second one, I blipped it to like four and then blipped it again to six. It's loud. Hopefully the wind wasn't too crazy on that and you could hear it. Get a little exhaust. I've been doing and what's been going on in my life and I want to hear from you guys as I mentioned earlier I'm on Twitter I just reopened a snapchat back up so I haven't figured that one out yet I mean I know how to work it but I don't know the, the specific the best application for snapchat like what you guys want to see is it just when I go to car meets is it everyday stuff like let me know in the comments below what kind of stuff you want to see on snapchat um, so Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all those things. It's one username, Mustang09. Come check it out. Come follow. Uh, I'd love to see you guys over there and communicate with you. <laughs> oh, girl. I'm so sorry. Alrighty, as you heard, we got the girl. The seatbelt got her cheek and it scared her, but... We are headed now to go grocery shopping. We're good. It's okay. Hey, play your music. Remember, we don't cry in daddy's car. Daddy's got the fun car. You can't cry in a Mustang. So anyways, we're gonna go grocery shopping, grab some food to make for dinner. That way, uh, when the wife gets home, Miss Courtney, she has a late day. We will have food ready for her and we can eat and do our taxes because we haven't done our taxes, which today's Monday the 18th, the last day to do them. So thanks so much for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys back here very soon, I promise. It's not gonna be a two week hiatus or anything. We're gonna make some new videos for you guys. Um, so make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys around. Take it easy, people. Talk to you soon.